Okay, Python on hardware time, Lady Ada. So this week in the newsletter, lots of stuff going on. Bit of a recap because we are celebrating our burr, 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 ribbon okay. cutting. So you can see that there's a MicroPython memory profiler. We did that event. The event we just is finished. Going. Yeah, so this is like real time. Risk five on Raspberry Pi, okay. Pico um, 2. So this is cool, the Risk five on Pico 2. So, you know, a lot of people may remember when the RP2350 was released, um, we kind of, we did a video and we basically said like, there's a couple things that are really interesting about it. There's this HSTX, um, which we'll talk about because we have a new product that uh, uses HSTX. But if you want to experiment with Risk five, you basically get like free bonus Risk five cores on the RP2350. And believe me, having stocked a lot of Risk five stuff, most of it doesn't exist anymore. It's been very fly by night, uh, which is fine. But um, now you get a Risk Five core not on my controller scale, one not Linux scale. But what you can experiment with, try out, um, and from a reputable company that has data sheets with good peripherals, with a good SDK that you know will be around for a long time. So this is the first time I can actually tell people like, you want to do Risk Five? This chip is for you. Okay. Um, and then more, there's C++ versus MicroPython, you oh, can yeah, watch yeah. the video, everyone loves doing these versus I love things. how they're like, versus at the end, they're like, you know what, both are good. Yeah. Both are good, guys. Well, you have to have <laughs> the catchy, clickbaity title, I get it, it's fine. Okay. Um, and so, uh, lots of recaps and more, yeah. a lot of Raspberry Pi news that came in, and of course, projects, projects, projects. Oh, projects. I like this too. Did you get this book, I think? Oh, sorry, that was popular last week. Yeah. yeah I, was like, I was like, yeah, this is really great. Yeah. Um, Sonia, um, two highlights this week I wanted to talk about. Uh, first up. There is this. This is the e ink Circuit Python Countdown with Custom Stand. This is by Jepler. Do check it out. Um, there's a lot of neat things that you can do with countdown clocks. Circuit Python makes it easier. And then you can see kind of why Jeff did this and um, what things he learned along the way from how to take a PCB design, um, an Eagle format, and then put it in FreeCAD. Lots of neat things. Um, this is like one of my favorite guides because it's like, oh, you understand the reasoning behind things, not just the step-by-step, too. And then uh, this one, um, I like this, too, because I like custom fonts. So you can create a reduced size bitmap font from a TTF file. So one of the cool things about CircuitPython is you can put in these uh, bitmap fonts, but they get kind of big, but you might not need all the characters. You don't need the characters, and we can simplify it. So PCF is smaller uh, than BDF, which yeah. is great. I remember we added PCF support, and then this person also goes through and shows how to like, simplify some of the characters. Yeah. And you can get... I mean, we try to give you as much disk space as possible, but especially on stuff like the Pico, where you only have like yeah. one meg or less. But it just space. makes sense to optimize anyway, so yeah. it makes everything faster and better. By the way, uh, you know, if you want to do stuff with custom fonts, CircuitPython is like the best way yeah. to do custom font, custom graphics, user interfaces. Like we support any font you yeah. want and that's natively. that's why e-ink is really You can't do that with Arduino yeah. even. That's why the ink's... The ink stuff is really neat because you can use custom fonts with that. Usually people are like, oh, I turn it into a spray and draw the image. No, no, you're like, you actually get a full font file. Yeah. And we have international support too, by the way. Yeah, Klingon. Very cool. Um, yes, Klingon font. So uh, also uh, we're uh, updating circuitpython.org. Um, stop by the 2 p.m. community meetings and also stop by the Discord channel. We're looking for input, lots more graphics and stuff like that. That's going to be kind of the main thing, of course, but we're going to make it um, easier for us to update it's a static site running off uh, GitHub, which is really good because we don't want to maintain a server that will forever be out of date. That's how servers like to run. So um, we're using uh, GitHub to publish it. So you'll be able to probably do a bunch of stuff um, as we open it up more for folks. That's the newsletter for the week. Every single week delivered to your inbox or you can get on blog or RSS or a variety of different ways. Adafruitdaily.com. It's a separate website because we don't want to intermingle your store account with things like email newsletters because we respect your privacy.